Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I have had a <laughs> excuse the word a hell of a day today. I finished the the blue baby blanket I was doing. I'm calling that one um Garter Ridge Ribbed. Garter Ridge Rib blanket because it has like little ridges across the the rib part of it and i wanted to get it parceled up and sent off to the united states with all the other things i had for dagri because some of them i've had that makes three baby blankets um i'm sending to um dagri and i've had them quite a while but i'll show you a little video of the um the finished blanket i did a little video to show what it looked like when it was finished so i'll stop the video and start it again Well, that's my blanket finished, just needs one end there and another end on the other side to get rid of those ends and it is exactly 30 the length by 28 wide. That's what I do my size, I do my blankets. And as you can see, it's a good size for Sammy. So you can see what the finished thing looks like now. And I'm back on my my normal things. I'm busy knitting Derek's cardigan at the um the moment. I'm back on my no normal routine, what I was doing before. I'll be starting from tomorrow morning doing my crochet things because I have one or two crochet bags and things to do in the morning and my orders like this I'm doing for Derek in the afternoon and my own of a night time. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about my day. It started after I had finished the, um, the blanket. I finished the blanket this morning and I thought I wanted to get it parceled up and sent off today. So I got to about quarter to two and I thought well, I've got plenty of time to get over the post office and before the last pickup was quarter past four so there was plenty of time. And you know the parcel with there was three baby blankets, there was four cardigans and a little hat thing in and it was quite a large parcel and I didn't have a single bag or anything. My, you know, the plastic carrier bags, it wasn't big enough. My bag I do for shopping wasn't big enough. I ended up with this. <laughs> this is my bag where I keep all my odd bits of wool and that in. And there was just enough room. It was stretched out like that. I could get it in the bag because I needed something to carry it in because I was going to walk over to the post office with it. And I weighed it and it was just under two kilo. So I know the weight was correct for what they call it, what's called a small parcel. The weight was within, the, it had to be under two kilo. And I measured the size and everything the size was what it should be for. Otherwise it has to go to a main post office where my post office is just a small one, usually um, like a food store as well as the um, post office. So anyway, I measured it all and it seemed to be all in, within the size to me. So I walked it over. It wasn't that, you know, heavy. I just kept changing hands when I was walking over. I was having a bit of trouble with my knee and my hip when I was walking over because I do get a little bit of problem now and again with them. But I got over to the post office and put the um, parcel on the scale. And he said, oh, you can't bring that here. Too big. I says, well, it's within the size. I've measured it. it says, um, to go across the top and down, it has to be no more than 90 centimetres, and it was 89 centimetres, so I knew it was within the size. And the height, um, I think 60, 60, or the width or whatever, had to be 60 centimetres, and it was well under that. No, you'll have to take it to the main post office. I said, well, where's the main post office? I don't know. So I had to walk all the way back home again with that parcel. Thought I was foaming by the time that was a quarter to two when I left and being about nearly quarter past when I got back in the house. 
So I'm Googling, I goes on my computer and I'm looking to find, try to find out. I put in my postcode, where is the nearest main post office? Because I hadn't a clue. I knew there was plenty small ones around, but I didn't know where the main one was because I know there used to be one in North Shields um, in a certain place round beside where I used to live when I lived in North Shields, actually, but that one shut down a long time ago and I didn't know where it was anymore. I was trying to Google it and, you know, nothing came up telling me what was the main post office, just telling you all the post offices. So I was ringing all the post offices, ringing the numbers, the ones around me, to try to find out where the, um, the main post office was. And the ones I rang didn't know anyway. They were just small ones like my local one. I'm having a drink of some orange juice as well while I'm here talking. So it was on for ages with that. And then I, I think the last one um, I rang was, it's called um, in the North Shields Town Centre, Nile Street, it's called. And I rang there and she said, oh, yes, we are the main post office. So she I mean, to tell me, I've, to, to myself, I didn't say anything to the girl on the phone. You mean to tell me I've got to drive all the way down into North Shields. I've never been in into town, North Shields Town Centre for years. I've got to go all the way down there. And I know it would be a busy time because a lot of factories are coming out at this time, coming out. And I know the traffic would be busy at this time on a Friday. Because this was after three o'clock by this time, after I'd been doing all this Googling and everything it was about quarter past three so although I'm going to have to go down I'm not going to wait till Saturday because I know it'll be busy on Friday but it would be even more busy on Saturday morning and the post offices are only open till um, about 12 on a Saturday morning so so I got my car drove down the traffic was horrendous <laughs> and I like I say I have not been in North Shields town centre for years I very rarely go, I don't need anything in the town centre, I go like in the places um, on the outskirts, you know, the supermarket places and um, the shopping centres and all that around there. So I drove down the normal route, you couldn't go down this road, you couldn't go down that road, and they were blocked off and a lot of them were one way and oh my god, how am I going to get out of the post office? I have to find somewhere to park first and there is a, um, a car park in uh, North Shields, one of those where you go round and round and round and round in it. And when I used to go there, I always used to be like up the top because um, you parked up the top and you just came down the ramp and it led down to the, um, the main shops where Wilco used to be, but Wilco's not there anymore. So anyway, you know, oh God, I wonder how much it's going to cost me to park because it costs you to park in the car park and anyway I, I managed to find my way around there I had to go a, a different route to what I normally do trying to find a way because there were roadworks all over the place they're doing a lot of alterations in North Shields because everything was different to the last time I was there so I managed to find my way around and I'm driving up and could only see um the shutters on one side of the car park were pulled forward where you go through to get your ticket. The other side was open. I thought, oh, well, there must be another way of paying. You mustn't get the ticket there. So I drove in and I'm driving my usual round and round up the top. And I couldn't see a machine anywhere. I said, well, where's the machine for? <laughs> Put the money in to get the ticket and that. And, uh, and then I come to where a machine used to be and it says, Parking is free today. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> so anyway, I left there and then I have to walk around. I knew where Nile Street was, where the post around. I didn't realise the post office had moved from where it used to be to Nile Street. So I found the post office and I went in with the parcel. And um, I had spoke to the girl a couple of times because the first time I phoned up to find out if there was a main post office, I had a bit of trouble and she couldn't hear me and I, I, I was having trouble. There was a funny noise on the phone and all that. And, uh, and then I had to ring back again. I just left it. It went dead. So I had to phone again. And I was talking to the same girl and that. And she was the same girl at the counter when I went up to her. And uh, I went up with the parcel. She says, are you the lady that phoned? She says, about a parcel for the United States. I says, yes, that's me. 
Oh, you found your way here. I says, yes, I found my way here with a bit of difficulty, but I did find my way. She took the parcel, she measured it and everything. She says, why wouldn't your post box have taken? Yes, she said it was too big. I'd have to go to a main post office. She says, it's within the the limits of a small parcel. You should have taken it, which who's your post? Who's your postman? I told her where it was. I says, uh, the post office, wherever it was. Oh, I don't know if getting into trouble or what, but... Um, she says, I says, you mean to tell me he's trailed me all the way down here when I didn't have to? And she says, oh, well, she's it's nice to see a new customer now and again. <laughs> but if I had to go to a, um, a main post office again, I know where it is now. <laughs> but she says, she measured the whole thing and everything, and she says, it's within the limit. It's under the two kilo. It's within the, the measurements, everything. She measured it. She says, I don't know why you wouldn't take it. But there is... When you have a parcel for somewhere like the United States, there's an awful lot of typing. You have to type everything down the full address and everything and what's in the parcel, how much it's worth and all the rest of it. I think maybe it was that he didn't want to do when he seen me coming in with that. And when I put it on the scales and he, because he said, is that for the United States? <sighs> so anyway, I got home about half an hour ago about half four. So it took me for to get that parcel to the post office from quarter to two to half four. A wasted afternoon. I could have had a lot more of this knitted. But you know, I suppose things like that happen, don't they? In the night you know, they're gonna happen, they'll happen to me. Traffic was terrible coming home again because like where Riley, really, there's a lot of factories and that and they all finish early on a Friday. And I come to the, there's a big roundabout, it's called Billy Mill, this roundabout. There used to be a roundabout there, but there's traffic lights there now and it's about the four way. There's traffic light, traffic coming that way, traffic coming that way, traffic coming that way, traffic going that way, traffic going that way. And I'm where, going straight across where there's traffic coming from everywhere. And then traffic lights changed. There was a long queue before I got up to it. And they changed about three times in the time I was waiting to get across. And I watched, I think the last time they changed, I watched them and they were on orange. I just put my foot down and shot across. I am not waiting in that traffic because it takes ages when it's about four ways. When the traffic's going round four ways, you've got a way of it. And I think the fella, there was a fella behind me, must have put his foot down, he must have came back, he must have came over on red while the traffic lights were on red. Because he was still behind me and I only just, the lights were changing to red when I went across. <laughs> the terrible, I hate traffic like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do what I can now and some of Derek's, I might get up to the shoulders done, but I've done a tutorial on the um, the blanket, so I'm going to go onto my other channel and sort out the um, the pieces to put together the pieces because it's knitted in a few a few pieces that I have to add, you know, join them all together and all that, and edit out all the little bits of crap that you don't want to hear about, <laughs> especially when I sway when I drop something, you know, in the middle of the video. So that's my little bit for today. I'm going to make myself some tea first, but I was just sitting down first because I think I've got a headache with the heat in the car. I used to have a car with a sunroof once upon a time, a long time ago. I wish I still had that one actually. <laughs> it was a lot better than opening your side window and having the wind, you know, blowing you nearly across the car. <laughs> So, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. That's the end of that rant. Bye for now.